Hi everyone, I'm Brendan and today I'm going to talk very briefly to you about something called dark traffic. So dark traffic is effectively traffic that Google Analytics either can't attribute or incorrectly attributes. And it comes in many different shapes and forms. So for example, it might be dark search. So dark search activities might be in-app searches, image searches, or carrying out secure searches. These kind of search activities don't share information with Google Analytics. So Google Analytics doesn't actually know how to attribute it. Even more prevalent is the whole world of dark social. So this can be some Facebook traffic, it can be WhatsApp traffic, Snapchat, any kind of instant messenger traffic. Again, these kind of activities don't share information with Google Analytics. So what does Google Analytics do when it doesn't know how to attribute traffic? Well, it lumps it all in here and calls it direct traffic. And this is why we get suspicious when we see things like this. So on this particular website, we can see that just over 40% of the website traffic is coming from direct traffic sources. So let's just remind ourselves exactly what direct traffic is meant to be, okay? So the direct traffic is meant to be somebody who's bookmarked your website, and then they've clicked the bookmark and come to the website, or else it's somebody who's typed your URL directly into their browser. So let's explore this and jump into this direct traffic. When we jump into this direct traffic, you can see that only 60% of it, or just over 60% of it, is landing on the homepage. So it's highly unlikely that 40% of this traffic are coming from people who've bookmarked pages beyond the homepage or typed in URLs that are longer than the homepage. So 40% of this direct traffic is potentially dark traffic. Okay. So what do you do about this dark traffic phenomenon or why is it important? Well, the reason it's important is if you don't know about dark traffic, you could be overvaluing the importance of your direct traffic channel and undervaluing the importance of some of the great search or social activities that you're engaging in. So what can you do? Well, the first thing to do is to be aware of it and know that it exists. Secondly, tag absolutely everything you can. If you're running email campaigns, display campaigns, or any kind of social activity, use UTM tracking codes to track it so you can see it in Google Analytics. Thirdly, inspect your direct traffic. So jump into your direct traffic and see how far it's going into your website. If it's going beyond your homepage, the chances are is that it's dark traffic. And lastly, we have a handy tool. You can find it on our blog. You can upload it to your analytics uh, profile and it will quantify exactly how much dark traffic you're getting. So that's a really brief overview of dark traffic. Marshall Simmons gave a really interesting presentation at MozCon this year. Check it out if you want some more detailed information on the scary world of dark traffic.